Okay, this is the Math 1401 Zoom meeting for Thursday, February 18th. We'll just work a few problems out of section 5.1 and 5.2. Quiz will be tomorrow. I think it's quiz four over these sections. Pretty long video was mailed out on Monday that uh, kind of showed all the little formulas and everything for this. Let's see. Picking one off page 240. Why don't we try one like number 25? All right. And you're given a sample space of whole numbers one through 10. Equally likely outcomes, 25 is probability of an event. It's an even number less than nine. Off page 240, problem 25, sample space is numbers one, two, three, goes up to 10. Find probability of, they call it an E, which is an event, uh, even number less than nine, strictly less than nine, it says. All right, and even numbers less than nine. So you got to count how many even numbers are less than nine. If I go ahead and list all the numbers again in the sample space, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I'm looking for the number of, just write it down in English, the number of even numbers less than nine over total number of numbers in sample space. So I just count through this, even numbers less than nine. One, uh, two, four, that's one, two, three, four. There's four of them. And there's 10 total numbers in the sample space. You could lead it this way. You could reduce it to two fifths. You could get the decimal, which is 0.4. You could also call it 40%. You could express it any of those different ways. Most of the ones in this section are pretty straightforward. Why don't we try the roulette problem? This is page 241. All right. So they have to tell you about a roulette wheel because a lot of people don't know. And then different wheels can be built different ways. This one's got slots that are labeled zero, double zero, and whole numbers one to 36. So in part A, sample space, they just list those zero, double zero, one, two. They don't feel obligated to uh, write it all out to 36. You're supposed to fit that pair, whole numbers through 36. Okay, B, probability of an eight or ball rows, ball rolls into slot eight, slot eight. Well, slot eight is one slot. There are, can you tell one to 36 at 36 and these two make 38 okay. slots. Total. Okay, and I've royally screwed up. Slot eight is one. One slot. My fault. I'm not thinking too good. So it's one out of 38. Yeah, that's a classic mistake. You use the exact number here. No, the point is it's one slot. We can leave it one out of 38. We could have a 38. We could call it 0 0.0263. 2% chance it would roll into slot eight. That's the interpretation. When it says interpret, a 2.63% chance the ball would roll into slot eight. All right, C, odd slot. All right, 
we'll take odd slots. You got zero, double zero. Those are not odd slots. Uh, I don't know. If the, you can try to think of them in your head and make sure you get an accurate count. The probability of an odd slot. It's 18 over 38. Is it 18? You already know. It's, so it's, you got the number of odd slots over again, the total slots, All right? And he's telling me it's 18, sounds right. You got numbers one to 36, half would be odd and half would be even. So yes, there should be 18 odd slots and there should be 38 total slots, almost at 36. So that's nine over 19. Uh, book actually, let's see, doesn't, uh, actually does leave it. My book has nine over 19, but you can always get a decimal, uh, points four, seven, three, seven. Yeah, let's see. So yeah, it's uh, five, one, pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot to do. Can we go on to five, two? Yes, sir. Okay. That's where we hit a few more formulas, this general addition rule and then a complement. 5.2. I don't page 251. How about one like uh, 21? You got golf balls. Just kind of picture they put them in a bag or a box. You got nine Titleists. You got uh, eight Max Fleas and you got three Top Flights. 21, find probability pulling. Titleist, E-I-S-T, sorry about that. Titleist or Max Flea. All right, well, I like to write out the OR formula. So that would be the probability of a Titleist. Height, list, E, height. Plus the probability max flea. In other words, you always go probability first, plus the probability of second, minus the probability of both. And max flea. People always get a little confused. They'll, they'll want to you know, do both. Uh, it, it's easier than that. This is one ball that is both idolist and Max Flea. All right, can, can you tell it doesn't exist? They have one label, one of these three labels on them only. Yes. They're completely separate companies. So they, there's not a ball in there that's got both labels. Yes. Yeah, that's called being mutually exclusive. So all you really got is these first two things. Titleist is nine out of, oh, and I haven't totaled it. Well, 90, 17, three is 20. Okay, there's totally 20 balls there. Nine out of 20. There are eight max fleas. That makes 17 out of 20. So pretty high probability of pulling a Titleist or a max flea. You could uh, get a decimal. Point eighty five, eighty five percent chance of pulling a Titleist or a Max Flea. Okay, next pay. Got any anyone leap out at you? Sorry, I, I didn't hear what you say. Oh, I'm just wondering if any of these problems leap out at you. No, no, sir. I, I. I it, it's clear, it's very clear. I understand that. Okay. Why don't we try one like 31 then? Uh, okay. I've met more than a few people who get a little uh, confused by decks of cards. 
Okay, you, you're selecting one card from a 52 card deck. Do, do we need, do you know how cards work or do we need a bit of a lecture of exactly on the structure of a deck of cards? I, I know how it works. Okay. Well, anybody else can figure it out from all our time and all our open Georgia casinos. <laughs> yes, that's a joke. <laughs> there are no open Georgia casinos. Why are there no oh. open Georgia casinos? I, I don't know. I, I don't play casino. I've never been to a casino in my life. Okay. Well, there's no casinos in Georgia. Do you know why? No, Professor. Because they're illegal. <laughs> it's in the Georgia Constitution. Wow. Yes, the only legal form of gambling in Georgia is the Georgia Lotto, which gives people their hope scholarships. Oh. This is where government gets entwined with laws, with the Constitution, with your liberties, because there are a lot of people who do like to gamble. Yes, yes. But gambling is, since its founding, and it's never changed, has always been illegal in Georgia until the Georgia Lotto. Wow, I, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So in 31A, they want probability of a heart or club. Once again, that or means you take the first one and you add the second one and you subtract both. Or heart and club. Usually I put them in the same order. I didn't do that this time, okay. But again, remember this is one card. That's a club and a heart. You know enough about cards that that doesn't exist? The, the cards that doesn't exist? The club exists, the heart exists, yes. but yes. there's no card at all that's both. Oh, yes. No. So once again, this is zero. Okay. And so you know there are 13 hearts in a deck out of 52. There are 13 yes. clubs in a deck out of 52. Yes. There's 26 out of 52. 26 is half of 52, so that's one half, or 0.5. 50 percent chance. No, his hearts and yeah. clubs are half the deck. So yeah. there's a 50 percent chance of when you randomly pull the card out that it'll be a harder club. Yes. Okay. Okay. So the, my confusion, what might confuse me that you cleared up right now for me is the club and and club or so or is individually then added together why and is when they are both yeah when they're both together yes okay now it's not always zero just our last two situations this has been zero i believe part c it's not going to be zero but I, it might still be zero and b let, let me look at b uh, heart or club or die. Okay, so in B, they go to three things, heart or club or diamond. I'll write it out in words. Once again, you do them individually and you add between them. So it starts off exactly like this, the first two, but then you're also gonna add in diamond. But then you're going to subtract off again all three heart and club and diamond. Well, can, I'm sorry, I misspelled diamond. Okay. Can you tell if, if there's not a card that's two of them? Can you tell that there's not a card that's all three? Yes, there's none. Yeah, so that this is still a situation where this is zero. In other words, it's mutually exclusive. The cards are one thing or another. They're a heart or a club or a diamond. They're, they're not both or anything. So once again, just like this, you got 13 out of 52 for hearts. 
Clubs are also 13 out of 52. And diamonds are 13 out of 52. Basically, you want, what's the probability that your club will be any of these three things? Maybe 0.75 if I'm 75 going per se, yeah, this is three quarters yeah. of the deck in effect. It's 39 out of 52, and that'll be three quarters, which is 0.75. Percent chance it'll be one of these three things. Okay, C though, I think will have this last piece filled in. They're asking for the probability that it's an ace or heart. Well, that'll be the be equal to, again, first thing plus the second thing minus both. Yes. You know, there's four aces in a deck. Yes. There's an ace of each one of these suits. Yes. All right. There's 13 hearts in a deck. Yes. But you see, this kind of overcounts things. All right. Now it's worded here, ace and hearts. In the okay. slang, you'd call this the ace of hearts. Okay. There Take is a one. card in a deck that is an ace and it's a heart. Yes. The ace of hearts. Yes. And that is one over 52. One card, right. One out of 52. So 13, 4, 17, uh, minus 1, 16 out of 52. Three oh seven seven. Thirty percent chance of pulling an ace or a heart. So we don't um, approximate, round up to like um, two decimal places to make it like thirty-one. Um, sure, uh, you can do that. That's absolutely fine. Oh, okay, I'm not really picky about the rounding. Okay, well, uh, that's pretty much examples from about everything. Uh, you get, uh, have any more questions or want to ask anything more? No, Professor. This is very clear. Thank you so much. Okay, well, sure thing. Uh, we've got another participant, Obase. Do you, do you have any questions? No, please. Okay, well, I was about to end the meeting, so. <laughs> okay, I'll attend, I'll attend at 8, 8 p.m., please. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll, I'll be back here at 8 p.m. tonight. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, sure thing. All right, we'll call this meeting at an end. And yeah, I will be back at eight tonight if y'all got any more questions or anybody else wants to join us. Appreciate y'all coming out. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Uh-huh, sure thing. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Bye.